Greetings everyone, Razor here, and today I am going to teach you how to use the jelly thing. Now, why am I making a tutorial on this? Well, it's because the jelly thing got an update, so I'm gonna teach y'all how to use the cuffs. Okay, uh, I got a volunteer called Madam Mushroom, and yeah, she is gonna be our little volunteer for today on this jelly thing. So, what happens when you put this arrest cuff directly into into Madam Mushroom. So what happens here is that it doesn't just send Madam Mushroom to jail. It just freezes her right here. You, you, you see this? You see this, guys? You see? So then you can just uh, put a reason here from abuse, random kill, evading to pretty much everything. You could also apprentice for some reason. And then there's this being annoying and disobeying orders kind of thing. There's also the time in which you could just sentence someone. So you could do 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes. But there's also one major thing about the jelly thing. You could just release, you could just release whoever you just uh, arrested. Major thing. This is a major update to the jelly thing. And and yes, and yes, uh, all I could do is arrest. Not Blacklist, Sally. I'm not a higher enough tier for the rest of the uh, jelly thing tool. Yeah. Anyways, now I show you the rest of the tool in how it works. Like the Blacklist functions. Yeah. Okay, I got this image from the KC Discord server on this entire arrest tool, basically. So basically, there is a arrest, Blacklist, and global unblacklist. And below those buttons, there's an undo button. The arrest doesn't have an undo button, by the way. But apparently, there's a reason, uh, there's the blacklist and global blacklist. Blacklist basically blacklists someone from a server. Global blacklist, basically. You're basically banned from the team in all running servers, all current servers. Meaning, if you do something stupid, like really stupid, you will be global blacklisted. And for those of you that, uh, wanna do that, don't do that, please. Don't, don't freaking just global blacklist every admission you see. Don't do that, please. You're gonna really piss everyone off. Now, here are some guidelines on how to use the jelly tool. So, KC, listen up. If you're new to KC, please listen up on this. Low crimes, freeze to warning, to 30 seconds of jail time. Being annoying, trespassing, and disobeying orders are reasons. Being annoying, and what we mean by being annoying? Begging for KC, begging for apprentice, and if, if severe enough, explaining someone how KC 100 million times. Moderate crimes, freeze to warning to two minutes of jail. Random killing, abuse, being annoying, as I stated before, disobeying orders. In other words, don't disobey a Casey's order when you're told to stop. Please stop. High crimes, 30 seconds of jail to blacklist, mass random killing, mass abuse, evasion. Extreme crimes, blacklist to global blacklist. Severe mass random kill multiple times. Severe mass abuse multiple times. Evasion for high crimes multiple times, or evading extreme crimes. There's a reason why these extreme crimes are up there. It's for people that are on the KC's most wanted list. If you're caught, expect to be global blacklisted. So, uh, this is how you- this is basically how to use your jelly tool. It's a basically a showcase and a little tutorial on how to use it. Anyways, I'm gonna end this tutorial, so good day, good night, I will see you then. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.